Thank you, attorney. You can take screenshots, guys. And I will open na po yung breakout rooms natin. Just click yung join once mag-pop up sa inyong screen yung ating mga rooms. Enjoy, guys, and see you in a while. Ito po. Dalawa po ito, ha. This is the first one and this is the second one. Ayan. Take screenshot, guys. Okay, ready na guys. Naka-screenshot na po tayo lahat. I will open now our rooms. employees kasi employee din po ako. And entrepreneurs naman create solution. So in our business, lalo na sa core ng NXDN, you will see ano ba yung, this is a problem, ano ba yung solution nito? Hindi naman natin iaakit yan sa corporate eh. So as leaders, as, as entrepreneurs, ano pa kailangan gawin natin dito? So when you when you say employees um in your workplace, if you're a doer, kasi pag empleyado ka, you are assigned into particular task. So kailangan tapos mo yung trabaho mo. But If you are more on a listener, in an organization po kasi, um, you listen, parang leader. If you're already a goal director, more on listening ka na. Ano ba yung kailangan ng mga downlines po? Diba? You listen so that you will be able to um, really cope uh, kung anong, anong need ng organization natin. So, yun yung, ano, yun yung ibang mga ano natin. Also, sa, sa number three naman po, no? Meron meron dito nakakatawa no. He, um, si Coach Dali daw, he, uh, he takes uh, risk for a living. Ayun, ganyan talaga yung entrepreneurs. Um they they really love risk but um ang ano, ang employees talaga, 'di ba minsan pag employee on the ka for such a long time, ang hirap mong magbitiw talaga ng pera kasi takot na takot ka kasi you're afraid of risk. 'Di ba? Kaya minsan may mga naprepresentahan tayo na ano na mahirap mag mag, uh, mag um invest sa business kasi nga we are still more unemployed na lang so stability talaga so uh, I, i'm more excited diba uh, with the with a, a lot of answers sabi nila we are more generalists kasi um there's a swiss german study that found out that specialists tend to be employees for life kasi they already specialize in a certain field pero yung 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 contrary nan po yung general alam mo yun ang galing mo you are a jack of of uh, ano uh, master of none jack of all trades kasi pag negosyante ka you are really open to adapt diba kung anong mga ano kailangan adapting so you you do not stick yourself in the particular um tasks so eto no uh, yung next is um siguro eto na lang last Are you the person na pag holiday bukas, sobrang excited ka na to take a vacation? Di ba? Kasi may narinig ako, na pag holiday, really want to take to take vacation, di ba? Or meron naman ako narinig. Sabi ni ni, ni Engineer Josh, na pag holiday, attorney, no, really want to see Coach Dali, I really want to finish task para matapos na yung trabaho. So, well, pag if you are very excited when holiday comes in, pag bukas pa lang ng taon, Tinitig naman yung mga holidays, ano ba yung vacation dito? Kasi syempre, empleyado ka, employee mindset, di ba, nagpa-plan ka na. Usually po, um, ang employees talaga, they really take it, vacation as a day off. But if you're an entrepreneur, gusto mo ng vacation because less disruption sa work, matatapos mo yung trabaho mo. So yun, yun yung, yun yung difference po nila. And of course, um, eto na employees follow the rules, entrepreneurs break them. Mar maririnig niyo mga diamond, siguro yung mga fellow fellow leaders ko no, maririnig no. Matigas ang ulo niyan, di ba? Pag matigas ang ulo, not in a negative way, pero pag pasaway, ibig sabihin, they they make their own decisions. You most, most probably they they are taking charge. Sila yung mga lumilipad. Di ba? I don't I don't promote syempre na you break the rules, but sometimes you need to be innovative. Diba? You need to you need, you need to use your critical thinking. Ayan. So, um, yan. And, um, uh, of course, if you're an entrepreneur, you are responsible for your own action. Yun po yung gusto din natin. But, of course, being an employee, yung particular action mo lang talaga, yung responsible ka. But not the entirety of an organization. 
Iba pag ako empleyado ako ng 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 Supreme Court, hindi naman ko, ko, ko responsibilidad lahat, 'di ba? Yung responsibilidad ko lang po yung trabaho ko. Pero in my organization, I take full responsibility of failures, achievements, of and mistakes of my entire team. Dapat ganun po tayo. Okay? So, um, do you execute tasks or plan tasks? If you execute if you're an employee kasi you are given at sign tasks, you plan tasks if you're an entrepreneur. So, uh, that would be all. I hope, no, ilan po dito in the chat box, ilan po dito ang naka 10 over 10 na B and 10 over 10 na A? Di ba? Meron po ba sa chat box may naka-perfect may naka-perfect uh, B pa or naka-perfect um, A? Ayan. What about two answers in one question? Kung saan po kayo naglilinyo na po yan. So, okay, at least now, you already know uh, most probably saan po kayo. And uh, let's, go, let's go on. Kung nasa entrepreneurial mindset na kayo, congratulations. But ang dami po natin lahat. Lahat po kami, kahit na Ruby directors and up, gold directors and up, ang dami pong kailangan malaman pa. If you are more on employee mindset, this is really the time for you na talagang ano, adapt. adapt po yung mga kailangan nating uh, baguhin. Okay? So, um, entrepreneurial mindset, how to think like an entrepreneur. Ayan, ito na po yung topic natin. I have how many minutes, Ma'am Mabel? You can take your time, attorney. One. All right, all right, sige. So, meron, we have a research po, no? Research shows that entrepreneurial mindset is valued not only by uh, employers, but it also boosts educational attainment and performance. And it's very crucial for creating a new business. Kaya nga, yung mga bago po dito sa, sa negosyong ito, this is really very, very, very important. And uh, this, sabi ko, bakit, bakit yung iba sa iyo sana ang bibilis? Diba, bakit yung iba kakapasok na nila? Ang bibilis nilang mag-rank advance, diba? Did you realize na pag isang associate, pag isang tao na pumasok sa Yusana at may entrepreneurial mindset siya, ang daling kausap. Tama po, do you agree? Pag mag-open ka ng business, ang daling kausap, naiintindihan niya. Diba? So that is that is one way of really, um, tawag nito, you, for you to fast track your business. Ayan. So, uh, this actually uh, separates yung ordinary sales people, di ba yung nagbebenta-benta lang, from, from the person who will really succeed here na makikita mo mag-gold director, mag-ruby director, mag-emerald director, mag-diamond director. So, that is an um, entrepreneurial mindset. And um, by definition po, this is really a specific, specific set of beliefs, knowledge, and thought processes that drives entrepreneurial behavior. So pag sinabi no po nating entrepreneurial mindset, you are willing to do the work uh, that can develop entrepreneurial mindset. And uh, pakikita po natin dito, yung entrepreneurial mindset, it's more on brain work. Uh, what makes an entrepreneur is not what she or he does, but how she thinks. So di ba, uh, the very powerful brain, uh, I remember one story, um, tawag nito, uh, yung, yung paralyzed na yung katawan, but the brain is very, um, tawag nito, uh, really, uh, really wanted to to heal the entire body, no? so kaya niya, that's how powerful the brain is. Uh, the brain can send, the, what do you call this, uh, uh, not in neurons, ba yun? <laughs> but the, the, the brain, if you think, diba, if you align it to positive, positive things, and you align it to big things, and you think outside the box, Yun yung, yung lumalabas yung entrepreneurial mindset natin. And um, um, it is really an opportunity, yeah, this is really an opportunity to for our um, children na ngayon pa lang po kailangan talaga natin turuan, you need to think outside the box. I, I read one book na parang nine years old pa lang yung bata. Grabe no, she's already thinking what product. Kaya sabi ko sa mga anak ko, no, pro what product to sell in the future? Sabi ko, grabe, na ano sila, na, 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 tawag ito, na, na expose sila ng mga magulang nila na at a very young age uh, sa entrepreneurial mindset. Okay, so entrepreneurial mindset, being an entrepreneur is a mindset. You have to see things as opportunities at all times. Alam niyo po, uh, I think na, na, na tawag ito, na kwento ko na to I met a, uh, He was a multimillionaire at that time with an in an, in an IT company. Uh, I heard recently billionaire na po siya. And when I presented Yusana to him, grabe, sumama po siya sa akin sa AIM. 
Sabi niya, how much does your leader earn in you sana? Nagulat ako sa kanya, sumama siya sa aim. He sat there. Sabi niya, um, if you can earn, like, ang galing nila eh, pag, pag negosyante talaga, magkano ang kuhunan? Magkano ang return? Anong gagawin? For how long? How long, di ba? Specific, how long yung duration para maka, makakita ka ng million. So, pinento ko yung mga, sinementor na, di ba? Span of time, ganyan. Sabi ko, ba't ang yaman-yaman na nito? Ba't parang kinoconsider niya pa yung sana? So, doon ko na-realize that if you have entrepreneurial mindset talaga, every opportunity that is presented to you, you study and you grab that opportunity. Ayan. So, this is this is a very important yung yung growth mindset and fixed mindset. So, uh, yung ibang characteristics po niyan, uh, nasa employee mindset, I have nothing against employee mindset. I am still employed. My husband is employed. Pero, ang, ang I plead, I appeal, di ba? Di, being in a, being in a court attorney of the Court of Appeals for so many years. I appeal to all of you who are part-timers here in USANA, who are doing this business side hustle or doing this business part-time po. We really need to have that growth mindset. Galingan natin sa trabaho natin, but after your work, you really need to ano, to strive harder uh, sa USANA business natin. And I hope by now you understand, no, bakit? Diba? Na-explain na natin sa kanila Um, whatever we do um, in our employment business, we may may limit, may hangganan ang lahat. But here in Yusana, uh, anything is um, possible. Diba? Uh, limitless. There's no boundaries. The only boundary that you can you have here is uh, uh, if you limit your, your capacity and ability. So these are the attributes of entrepreneurial mindset. Para din po alam alam natin no ang attributes niya uh, these are no longer new to us yung iba pong concepts dito na nadidiscuss na rin po sa ibang trainings pero i think this is high time na focus natin na with this particular attribute connected pala sa, sa entrepreneurial mindset eh ang sabi nila kailangan mong magkaroon ng entrepreneurial mindset para maging successful dito sa negosyong to so focus po tayo dito if if i am to to listen to this training uh, i would really take note of this para ito po ang 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 tututukan ko. So number one is clarity of purpose. Paulit-ulit 'yan, 'di ba? Clarity of purpose. Ah, uh, very good na checkmate. Okay, clarity of purpose. Um successful entrepreneurs are totally clear on on why they are here and their big picture uh reason for existing. Paulit-ulit po 'yan. There is no judgment on the actual business, but the importance of knowing their purpose cannot be understated. And clarity of purpose is the foundation of all success. So, um, but before that, no, I quick sharing lang. Uh, I when I started, wala akong clarity of purpose. The last the last talk I had sa sa big room was um was when I was invited by mentor Mel, no. So I I just want to give a tribute, no. Sabi ko nga when I started, wala akong kita sa yusana. Yung mga wala akong purpose. Ang sabi ko nga dun tawa ng tawa yung audience. Sabi ko masay I I'm just I'm just being I'm just happy with what I'm doing. Kaya nga, hindi ko alam. Wala na ako kinikita. So, sana when I was starting. Pero, ando na ko. Kumakayad ako na parang walang makain yung mga anak ko. Di ba? Pumunta ko sa office ng nagbubuhat ng, ng 2,000 points, apat na 500 points. But, even if you, I didn't have the clarity of purpose at that time, I had that vision. Di ba? Imparted by our appliance. Kaya nga sabi ko, you need to to say thank you to um to the your appliance kasi um sabi ko nga if you're new here hindi ka tatagal dito kung wala yung appliance that bridges you to the vision and mission of Yusana that to, to whatever purpose that um is possible for you as you journey your Yusana bit so sabi ko buti na lang hindi ako kumikita at that time pero pero nakita ko yung vision mission ni mentor men na pagdating ng panahon whatever they have whatever um para service that they can give to a lot of people and the impact that they have to a lot of people pwede din mo ding makuha. So yun yung yun yung ano po uh, I just want to say thank you thank you to to Mentor Mel to the late Mentor Mel and of course say thank you to your uplines na talaga naman nandiyan sila na kahit wala ka pang kinikita they are reassuring you na na, na wag kang bibitiw. Uh, you um, trust the process and keep the faith and you will be successful here. Because the before you get that purpose, you need to have the clarity of the shot. You also need to understand the mission. You need to have the strategy and the action plan. 
pag napod mo yan, saka mo po na, kasi every face ko sa'yo sana, paiba-iba po talaga yung, paiba-iba po yung, yung, ano, yung nakikita ko, pero as you go on talaga, you will see the clarity of purpose. Ayan, so sorry for being emotional. Ayan, so next is, um, next is self-belief. So, every successful entrepreneur must possess an incredible sense of self-belief. Kaya nga yung, yung, yung opening natin kanina, di ba? This is also a uh, reassurance, di ba? Of our um, capabilities, of our abilities na I can, di ba? Kailangan talaga, ano, self-motivated ka. Uh, you, back, you back up yourself completely. Lagi kong sinasabi, this Yusana business is a uh, very transparent business, di ba? If you don't believe in yourself, in your capabilities, if you don't believe in your products, how will you be able to convince other people to join your organization? Sige nga, di ba pa, parang nagpo-prospect ka, naghahanap ka ng tao makakausap, pero sarili mo hirap na hirap ka pa. Hindi mo pa, hindi mo pa, hindi mo nagsisigin talaga sa'yo na kailangan, na, na after some time, kaya ko din mag-director, after some time, kaya ko din mag-call director, after some time, kaya ko din mag-dayo mag, uh, mag-director, di ba? The self belief it's about um overcoming doubt, fear and self worth and self esteem issues and going against family sometimes, di ba yung unsupported family and it's something that is very hard for most of us to do. So lagi niyo pong tatandaan lahat po ng mga mentors sa atin, lahat po ng atin natin. Kung hindi sila nagtiwala sa kakayahan nila, wala pong NX diyan ngayon, di ba? Kung hindi nagtiwala si mentor na sa kakayahan nila, if all are diamond directors, no 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 NX diyan that exists right now kasi doon po tayo nang galing lahat. So if you if you believe in yourself, di ba? Anak? Even if you're a pawn, you start as a pawn, di ba? If you believe in yourself, that pawn can become the most powerful official of the king and that would be the queen. Ayan. So, next would be um, uh, build resilience. Ayan. So, ito po, uh, you have, wait, back po tayo. Ayan. So, focus and concentration. Wait, ang bilis ko po, no? Ayan. So, identify needs and opportunities. Uh, Successful entrepreneurs are also able to identify opportunity in just about every situation. And um, they focus on opportunities and not their venture, their ventures. They identify also, evaluate, and select business opportunity. Pag meron ko na pong um, analytical and critical thinking, you can, you can already identify opportunities. At paano nyo malalaman yan? Di ba sabi ng training ni, ni Mentor Mao at ni Mentor Yan Gagabi? Nasa yun sana na kayo eh. You should, you should know by now that this is the best opportunity that you can have. Diba? Because if you have that right mindset, wala ka nang, wala ka nang entertain na ibang opportunity. Ang gagawin mo na lang po, pagkusayan mo dito, hone your skills. Diba? The, the five fingers, hone the five fingers. Yan po ang lifeblood ng ating negosyo. Ulit-ulitin mo yan. Ulit-ulitin mo lang. Yung training ni Mentor Mao, prospecting, inviting. You master that. Wala ka nang titignan na ibang opportunity. Pagkusayan mo na dito. So, yun po yung one of the attributes of entrepreneurial mindset. And next would be focus and concentration. Ayan. Ako po, when I start, before you sana, I'm so fond of multitasking. Siguro nababanggit ko na sa trainings ko before. Um, successful entrepreneurs have the ability to control their thoughts and actions. They need, there's a need to be totally present and focused with the, whatever is in front of them at that, at that same time. Sabi ko, dati kasi ang galing ko mag-multitask. Nasa office ako, nagpro-prospecting ako. So, ang rally ko po talaga, there's no such thing as multitasking. Di ba? If you're at the office and you're at work, focus ka dyan. If you're full-time in Yusana and you are with your family, focus sa family. If you're in Yusana and you have ministry, focus sa ministry. Uh, my husband would always tell to my kids, there's a time for everything. And, we, and, and, we, and, and if in this particular area, this data you sana ka dapat you sana ka lang ang hirap kasi nasa trabaho ka ang iniisip mo yung sana kasi pag nasa yung sana ka nasa training ka iniisip mo yung trabaho mo so nasa yung productivity diba the attention the focus and the concentration should be at one at one area in a single time para yung productivity mo po mas malaki so guilty your honor po ako diyan sino po mga guilty diyan are they uh, please type five diba sa mga sa multitasking na yan Ayan, so Ayan, so ito also also um very important um you need to build successful networks. 
Grabe, successful entrepreneurs have incredible networks. Of course, I do not uh, undermine also those who are starting kasi minsan objection, doon nyo na, hindi talaga ako, ano, hindi talaga ako uh, maging successful dyan sa isa. Wala akong kakilali. Yung may introvert nga ako, wala. Diyos ko, sabi ko, ako din naman, a lot of people ang perception ang galing daw namin mag-asawa kasi lawyer ako, just yung asawa ko. Hindi. Di ba, I started from, I just didn't have the pictures. I started prospecting at the, uh, sa mga tao sa laylayan, syempre, nung bago pa po ako, hindi naman po ako marunong pa, di ba? As, um, the, ano, hindi ko pa alam quality prospecting. Ayan, yung vendors, vendors of meat, vendors of uh, gulay, kasi namamalian ka po ko, I cook for the family. Pero I didn't realize that vendor of gulay, sabi niya, attorney, ay kakalabas ko lang ng fortuner ko. Sabi ko, wow, si Kuya, naka-fortuner din pala. That's the time, no? So, every people that you encounter, you need to really build successful network. You need to spend time and energy investing in their networks. Um, either you give more than what they take. Nakalala ko, tutupad palagi. Wag daw palaging, ang tawag daw, makwenta. Diba? When you started with, you, with the business, wag kwenta ng kwenta. Kasi wala ka naman talagang makukuha pa when you're starting. Um, it's more on giving, di ba? You need to you need to give more than uh, more than you take and you you act without expectation or reciprocation. Naalala ko din to kay Mr. Francis kung sabi niya, I started talaga lahat. Alos wala akong kinikita. But after some time, I realized the network that I built kasi I was more on giving when I was starting this business. Um, uh, in, in, in building your network, no, Uh, helping others, alam niyo po, uh, minsan naubos ang oras ko. Hindi naman sa ano, pero I really help a lot of, wag ba yung lumapit? Uh, in my, in, in the most, um, the best way that I can, I really help others. Kasi, hindi mo din naman alam pagdating ng panahon kung kailan ka, mga ngailangan ng tulong nila, tama? Di ba? And you need to take note, um, in this business, pag nakatulong ka sa ibang tao, hindi lang yung madali mo lang i-prospect, hindi lang yung madali mo silang invite, but, the the ano to the the trust na bibigyan yung trust and that's and of, and of course the respect kaya at the time na invite natin sila mas madali po silang magyas sa atin ayan so um you need to also of course we have particular training for this na no you need to target your market and dyan na po yung yung um dapat magaling ka na mag-prospecting mag-follow up you help others You need to build relation, lasting relationships. Nagkukwento kami ni mentor nat ni Ma'am Beng, ni, ni mentor sa Mao, tsaka ni uh, mentor Yen. Sabi ko, ang tagal ko na. <laughs> parang excited na rin po kami mag-grad. Kasi parang ang dami ko na talaga na, na new people that I was already able to build relationship. Pero syempre, it really takes some time. Ayan. So, and of course, um, challenging oneself. Ito, uh, successful entrepreneurs are big learners. They push themselves physically, work hard, and they play hard. It keeps their minds active, their bodies fit, and their attitudes positive. So, ako po, no, um, ano ba? Uh, I challenge myself na kaya ko din. Uh, ito, may confession si mentor yan. <laughs> may confession ako. Kung nalang sa start, hindi ako makahugot ng motivation dito. Kaya lang, minsan, sabi ko, di ba, mga tent-attend ka ng training, mga big news, ano yun? Minsan napapaisip ako, oh, siya nga, di ba? Para hindi naman siya nagmamalit, pero hala siya, hala na grubi na siya, hala na dool na siya, hala, bakit ako hindi ko kaya? Di ba? Yung ganon, parang you need to challenge yourself. Kaya pag ilang bang tao nga kaya nila, di ba? What, what, what stops you from, from, uh, from achieving that particular milestone? Eh, alam mo naman sa sarili mo na kaya mo siya. So, I, I, you keep, Keep, you keep on challenging yourselves. It's very important. And of course, believe in innovation and technology. Ayan. So successful entrepreneurs invest sums of, sums of money into technology to do what, what they do better. Ako naman po, uh, kasi sa negosyo, may nagturo po sa aking office mate. Mayaman po sila. They're into business. Bata pa sila. sila Chinese sila. Sabi, bumili daw ng bagong, bagong, ano, bagong gadget. Sabi sa akin, bakit hindi? Ay, sabi ko, bakit hindi nol? Sabi niya, bakit hindi dati yung nol? That's a business tool. Tapos, nung nalaman ko na yung business tool, ang bilis ko na pong bumili ng bagong... Hindi naman, no? Kasi yung, yung alam niyo po, yung iPad 1 ko, alam niyo ni Mentor Chefs yan, inabot pa ako hanggang dual director. As in, talang, yung Plants versus Zombies, hindi na po nagpa-play. 
Inabot po ako ng ganun bago ko po siya pinalitan. But when I had that that mindset of business tool siya, kailangan mong mag-upgrade. Mas madali, di ba? So it's all it also gives you um, um justification, no, na na you need to work hard para din ma-upgrade mo yung ma-upgrade ka ng ng innovation and technology. Okay, so uh, Um, ayan, so uh, very briefly lang, you, you really, if you want to be successful here as an entrepreneur, you, entrepreneur, you need to build resilience. And um, all high-achieving entrepreneurs have had incredible challenges in their lives. Ang dami pong bago ngayon, I uh, share ko lang po. Um, I could have, in my in my uh, gold run, I could have, um, tawag dito, uh, I could have, uh, I should have, I should have given up on my third week ng run, kasi I figured an accident. So, third week ng run ko po, I was at the office, it was late at night, alam niyo man yung traffic noon, that was 2018. I, uh, na, nakasalubong ko po, uh, go go ako, tapos yung motor, sumalubong siya sa akin. Kaya kami ang go, nakastop siya. So, ako talaga, tarang 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 It's my first time, dalawang tao nakasakay na motor, nabangga ko siya. So, third run ko po, ng, ng ano, na third, third week po ng gold run, it was really playing so hard, sabi ko, Um, okay lang naman mag back to zero kasi kung mamatay naman to, di ba? Konsensya ko naman na gold ako namatay naman siya. Dinala ko po sa hospital that time it took my husband two hours and a half to reach to reach the hospital kung sa ako dinala yung 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 nabangga ko. Kasalanan na naman niya kasi talaga na mapakasalanan niya hindi lang kaya talaga ng konsensya ko na iwan sila. So I brought them to the hospital. Buti na lang sa Mandaluyong, di ba? Of all places, sa Mandaluyong po nangyari, I was assisted by the police na talagang sinabi na kasalanan ng motor. Ano, sabi ko lang, um, tutulungan ko tong tao to, but when I reach, sabi ko, Lord, umuwi ako mga 4am kasi may police pa, police um, report and everything po. Sabi niya, pag dumating po ako sa bahay and I wake up 6am at nagising po ako ng 6am, that's roughly one hour sleep, ilalaban ko itong yung sana. Kasi third week ko na. Diba? If I had the chance to finish this run, natapusin ko siya. Kaya by 6 a.m., I was running, I was running um, 4,500 points or 5,000 points at the time. Nilaban ko siya 6 a.m. on a Saturday. So, sabi ko nga, pasensya na po sa, for that term. But here in Yosana, kung gusto mo talaga maging successful, bawal po dito ang mahinang nila lang. Tama po ba? Do you agree? Ni ba? Bawal dito ang napaka ano to, uh, very very how do you call this? Maselan, di ba? Your rejection lang napakinang nila lang. Nireject lang din ang nagpakita. Di ba? Ano naman Di ba? Yung ibang negosyante nagsara na yung negosyo. We have a friend also no, up uh, decided with the capital. Hirap na hirap siya. Pero pandemic nilaban niya yung nilaban niya yung million na, na ginasas niya uh, bankrupt na sila pero nilaban niya pa rin. Ganun kasi mag-isip sila, di ba? Kasi kailang they take risk. Pero dito na reject lang ayaw na. <laughs> di ba? So, ah, uh, yung AO, yung AO nga lang natatawa ko. I always hear this when I was when I was um uh, starting yung sana, since sabi ni Mentor Bichi, kung AO nga daw hindi mo paglaban, mapaglaban yung yung pagyaman mo pala sa ito. Oo oh, ano? Oo oh, naman, di ba? So, kailangan talaga, you need to build resilience. And these are the 10 ways to build resilience. I just I just, just read. Relationship, very important. Adjust your attitude for crisis. Take actions. Things should be uh, perspective, positive mindset. Gratitude, di ba? You, you, I, I always, um, that's one virtue that I always keep in mind. Gratitude. Physical fitness, ayan. Mental men, mental fitness, very important also. Build goals, know yourself, and take care of yourself. So, ito po yung ano, resilience means the capacity to recover quickly from difficulties. The attitude of never giving up. Yung lahat, di ba? Remember, the, the, the founder of Ford company, di ba? Um, sabi niya, when everything seems to be going against you, remember that the airplane takes off against the wind and not with it. So I remember this one. This is also um, uh, used by Mentor Mel during his trainings. So lahat na, di ba? Lahat kung lahat na against you, it's okay. You have you have the 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 capacity still to succeed here in this business. So um, ayan. So uh, millionaire mindset also. Sabi po nila, bakit ang Pilipino ang hirap ang hirap daw 
uh, maging mayaman. Minsan kasi, it's, 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 it's not minsan, it's really the mindset. Kasi kung ang tingin mo lang talaga, ang tingin mo lang talaga, ay hanggang dito lang talaga, ang, ang kaya mo i-provide for your family. Ang kagano lang talaga. And it struck me also, no, the abundance mindset. Kasi minsan, napupunta ko tayo sa comfort zone. Tama? Uh, I was, I was, um, I was sabi ko, minsan, ang kalaban ko pa talaga comfort zone. Sinasabi ko sa sarili ko, okay naman ako eh. Ano, 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 ano ba nol? Babalik ka na naman ba sa nag-represent ka sa mga kanye, di ba? Nag-tap ka ng mga tao, babalik ka na naman ba nol? Di ba? Eh, okay ka naman. Di ba? So, alam niyo po, ang uh, one, one, one uh, leader here in Yusan, I think, I think sa corporate, no, if not one diamond director, sabi niya sa akin, Attorney Noel, when you were you when you rank advance and nasa 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 height ka, 'di ba? Nasa executive rank ka ng Yusana. Naiisip mo ba 'yan? That your employment is sufficient. 'Di ba? 'Di ba hindi? Before, you have a very big uh, uh, you have a millionaire mindset. You have that abundance abundance mindset na you can give more than, 'di ba? What you can imagine with this Yusana business. 'Di ba? So um yung millionaire mindset talaga is very important also to raise your standards iba yung the way of living kasi uh, totoo naman po with the income that we are getting sabihin natin diyan po talaga nakabase yung ano uh, what school we send our children di ba what car we drive uh, in what community do we live di ba so kung wala kang millionaire mindset doon ka na lang okay ka na with what you have hindi ka na talaga magpo-proceed dito sa Yusana so Um, and also, of course, sabi ko nga, yung mga nakabi na perfect, don't be complacent kasi hindi ibig sabihin na may millionaire mindset ka na ay magiging successful ka na dito sa Yutana and it will be a guarantee that you will be, that you will rank advance here. You need to take action, di ba? Um, what makes an entrepreneur successful is that how he or she knows uh, uh, here in this business but how much action has been taken with available knowledge that he has. So, act, ibig sabihin, action changes things. Kahit ang dami-dami niyo pong training, di ba? Kahit every training yan, mapa-corporate, mapa-NX dyan, lahat na lang po sinalihan niyo. If you do not take action, it's useless. Uh, whatever is um, absorbed by the mind should be executed, should be implemented. Di ba? Whatever idea, kung idea ka lang dyan at lagi kang nandyan, wala po. It, it will not uh, merit any any uh, favorable um, a favorable uh, circumstance sa'yo kung lahat po ay nasa theories lang, kung lahat po nasa knowledge lang and without action. Okay, so um, also, no, um, self-investment and all-around health, alam naman po natin uh, uh, successful entrepreneurs understand that they need to take care of themselves physically and mentally on a regular basis. Uh, uh, ako, by now, I, I, we fully understood that this is not an optional activity. This is an essential activity. And the best investment you can make is an investment in yourself. The more you learn, the more you earn, you need to attend trainings talaga. And of course, health is wealth. Um, my dad usually reminds me a couple of years ago, last year ko lang din po na-realize talaga that I'm not getting any younger. And I'm not healthy. Sabi na sinasabi, bakit ganyan? nag na kayo. You're promoting um, nutritional supplement. Anak, pero lagi kayong puyat. Diba? Tapos yung mga kinakain nyo, hindi naman healthy. I mean, hindi, hindi naman po talagang hindi healthy. Pero at least, diba, sabi niya, oh, you should eat balance, balance diet, ganyan. Sabi ko, oo oh, nga, no? Sabi ko sa kanya. And now, I fully understood this concept that um, being physically and mentally healthy on a rebel, re- regular basis is not an optional activity. Uh, last night, I shared this with Mam Beng, no? Uh, I slept like, what time, anak? Mga 12 midnight, nagtatrabaho pa pa ako, and nag-alarm ako ng 3 o'clock. Just to, kasi it's my husband's birthday, and may mga inaayos po kami. Sabi ko, puyat ako, kasi nag, nagganap-ganap pa ako ng 5.30 na nag-blow-blow ng candle, di ba? Nag, mga 2 hours lang tulog ko. Usually, I always give it as an excuse. Puyat, huwag na mag, mag-exercise pag puyat. Hindi maganda. <laughs> Pero I learned, hindi mo pala talaga, um, you can still engage in physical activity kahit puyat ka. So sabi ko, daddy, bumangon tayo. Let's go to the gym. Because uh, being physically and mentally healthy is not an option. It's really something that we should do on a regular basis. And pumapasok po dyan yung um, excuses. So kung hindi mo maalagaan yung sarili mo, mentally and physically, paano mo maalagaan yung negosyo mo? And take note, we are promoting 
um, ano, nutritionals dito, we are very uh, fortunate because uh, as we as we uh, as we take care of our health, iba we are also at the same time promoting our 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 uh, products, iba. Kaya nga sabi nila, uh, we need to walk the talk. Okay, so um, eto lang po no, uh, modesty aside. Hindi ka naman po sila sabi na napakagaling ko sa iyo sana, napakabilis ko sa iyo sana na kurubi pa lang po ko. So ang dami ko pang bigas na kakainin pero siguro I am I am proud enough to I am proud enough to share to all of you that at a very young age my parents exposed me to business. Kaya mabilis, may mabilis ako kausap when I, when I started in Yusana. So I had a survey with the Golden Up, the, the usual challenges uh when starting, 'di ba? Negative opinion of close friends and and relatives. So, ito po yung mga challenges. But it was not, kasi kapag tinatanong ako, anong challenges, challenges po, Terninol, uh, that you face when you were starting? Sabi ko, parang wala naman. Negative opinions of close friends and relatives. Ayaw nga ako usapin ng mga lawyer friends ko. Wala ko pakilang sa kanila. Di ba? Kaya, because I had, I had this entrepreneurial mindset. Makakatulong ba sila sa akin? Hindi. Di ba? Fear of judgment. Di ba? Uh, at the end of the day, the person responsible for the needs of my family is me and, me and my husband alone. Whatever um, criticisms that I hear from other people, it will not matter. Diba? Information overload. Hala, ang dami daw training, ganyan-ganyan. Sabi ko, hindi doon to talaga. Diba? Eh, hindi to sa'yo sana. You do, you do not learn these things in school. Diba? Even in law school, even in medical school, walang gantong business training. Diba? Walang gantong entrepreneurial mindset. Kaya nga yung dinidikti ngayon, as early as, as, the, as now, we need to expose your children into business. Task and time management. There's no problem with that. Kasi part-time ako. Hindi ba kailangan kong gawin ng isana? What do you do? Focus. Pag nasa work ka, tapusin mo yung work mo. Huwag ka na makipagdaldalan dun sa pantry. Uh, usually, medyo payat pa nga ako. Nagsisimula ako kasi talagang toxic na toxic po ako. Nakanutrimil lang ako. Hindi ba wala na akong chika-chika sa kanila? Self-limiting belief. I don't have that. Hindi ba? Kasi I, I, I believe uh, when, you, when, you, when you are into business, you really need to, to believe in yourself. The concept of auto order, ang hirap hirap pa intindi. Di ba pag yung downline mo, yung prospect mo, walang 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 business mindset. Yung auto order, wa anong negosyo po ang papasukin mo na wala kang ruling capital. And that ruling capital comes with products na nagagamit ng family mo. Every hindi pa ako galit. Pero this is how I want to emphasize to all of you that we need to cultivate an entrepreneurship entrepreneurial mindset by now. Wala na dapat question about auto order. Nasa negosyo po tayo. 'Di ba? San kang negosyo? Ako ha, kumikita ako ng this amount of money, hindi man ganoon kalaki, pero nag-auto order lang ako ng how much. Tapos nabebenta mo pa 'yon, tapos magrereklamo ka pa. So, but of course, with your new downloads, so po kayo ganito pag-sing. Kasi I can see here lahat mo tayo, 'di ba? Uh, ano na, ang uh, medyo Uh, and there's uh, you understood na the concept oh how to activate downline syempre you need to model that uh return of capital hello dito nga sa sana di ba pag take mo ng products kami po ha my family took the products sobra sobra na kagad yung return of capital kasi yung health benefit na nabigay ng products and yung amount that you shelled out bumalik din kaagad in the form of products so wala po talagang ano wala po talagang wala po talagang um kumbaga Uh, return of capital na inaantay mo kasi you had all the products. Uh, I, I quote again one of my downlines na sabi niya, the worst thing that will happen to you if you join you sana is that you will become healthy. Walang lugi-lugi dito. This is a win-win situation. So, of course, also, you need to set the the right expectation, no? Na na dito sa iyo sana, walang mayaman ka agad. Hello? Di sana kung mayaman ka agad, di sana nag sana na lahat. Kasi minsan, sabi ko talaga, Lord, ang hirap naman ng isana na to. You know, I had this experience from work. Pumunta pa ako last week. Yes, nag all alone. Eh, daddy po, office lang ako. Tapos bahay, office, bahay. Nung nag-isana ako, nagdadrive ako. Nagdadrive ako mag-isa. Um, daddy, hindi pa ako pinapayagan ng asawa ko. 11 o'clock, 12 midnight na. Nasa Las Piñas ko. Beyond Las Piñas? Diba dati, five years ago, meron pa yung, yung parang open lot. They can, sabi ko, Lord, Jesus ko, hindi na ata makaptarungan itong isana. Dito ata yung mga medicinal beach dati. May mga pa ganun ba ako? <laughs> Tapos sabi ng kapatid ko, Mate, ganyan talaga ako. Hindi, kung madali ang yusana, di sana ang dami ng nag-yusana. 40,000 na yung capital dyan. Di sana lahat na yung maman, di ba? So it really takes time. So, uh, and of course, I want to remind everybody, no? Let's set the, let's set the business facts straight 
to our uh, prospective ba uh, downlines to our uh, to our prospective clients po no wala po dapat na maglabas ka ng 40,000 dito ako na magpre-present for you mag-invite ka lang di ba wala nang ganoon we need to be transparent we need to give this uh, we need to um we, we it should start from us para magkaroon po ng respect uh, that will start from our organization sa Alex Jen sa Yusana Philippines dapat po talaga we should always be trustworthy and we should be honest at all times Let's let's explain to them and dapat tayo din na iintindihan po natin yung concept ng delayed gratification. You need to trust the process. Maniwala po kayo sa akin. Um dati ko ni question ko bakit kailangan ko mag-training sa AIM. Gabi na. 'Di ba? Alas 11, alas 12, uwi ka, puyat na puyat ka na. Dati lahat ko ni question ko, pero I understood it's part of the process, part of the journey. 'Di ba? And you should you should uh, by now understand that. Okay, so Ayan, and yun na po. So I think, no, I with modesty aside, I think the force behind a lawyer becoming a Ruby director because not all lawyers naman po are really open, diba? are really open to do you on a business, are really open to do the side hustle, are really open na, na magpadala sa LBC, ng sales essentials, kahit isang piraso lang. I think the force behind a lawyer becoming a Ruby director is the entrepreneurial mindset, which I pray to all of you na sana po na impart ko yan um, na ang Yusana number one is a Yusana sa business and you need to take it seriously and number two for you to become successful here you need to adapt entrepreneurial mindset ayan so uh, uh, do we still have time coach? yes attorney we still have um, ayan so sub yes I so mga yes sige go attorney po Sabi ko po kasi madaldal ako talaga. Anyway, so so um uh, quick lang po sa Yusana milestones ko for those na hindi po po ako nakikilala. Um we started in the year 2017. Imagine mo, nakausap ko si si Ma'am Joyce ko yun. Sabi niya sa akin, "Ha, tawagin mo na, tagal mo na pala din sa Yusana." Oo nga po eh. Oo na po. Magrarasa ko naman so. So I started in 2017, a year after 20 right after one year po, we became gold directors. Lahat po yan dinaanan ko po. Sa mga magulang na they, they are finding it so hard to do you sana. Ang anak ko po, at that time, director, director recognition can hardly speak at that time. Every presentation that we do, nagpapa, nagpapa-breastfeed pa po ako. May cover lang kasi face-to-face before. Pinagdaanan na po, na, pinagdaanan po namin lahat yan. And um, it took us, uh, medyo mabalis one year offline before, pero sobrang, sobra din talagang hard work. And remember po, no, there's no substitute for hard work, but harder work. Ayan. So, kailangan lang talaga uh, pagbutihin and talagang talaga trabahuhin. So, 2020, I became executive goal director, straight to Ruby director. Top 50, um, I got travel incentives. Uh, level 3 for Sri Lanka, Taiwan, and Tokyo, LS. Uh, we are awaiting, this is the much-awaited travel for Greece this May opo, for the AP growth. And of course, um, the opportunity also to share my entrepreneurial journey to a lot of people. Sabi ko nga, uh, I, I, I can, I can, siguro as a lawyer, uh, with the stature that we have, I can, I can, siguro naman po, influence uh, people, but not as much uh, with this opportunity. And uh, kaya nga po pinagbubuti din natin kasi we, need, we want also to, to raise the standard and to to give respect to this industry not only for you sana but sa buong MLM na the people here are respectable people here are, are credible people here are uh, with integrity and there's nothing wrong uh, in in engaging yourself in an MLM business and this is something that you should be proud of diba? so um and um of course uh, this um top top in rank sabi ko naman kami hala papalitan na nila nako kailangan na talaga humataw kasi maalis na yung picture di ba so so this is open opportunity to be with the COO of Yusana kailangan niyo lang po sabi ko it's not your title outside Yusana that will really uh, give you the opportunity to be, to meet these people yung resulta po talaga remember Yusana sa business Kung wala kang resulta dito kung wala kang ambag sa ko sa sa company wala ka di ba at dati naman, nag, nagbubuhat po ako ng ang sakit ng likod ko, 2,000 points of products, hindi ko alam, pwede palang ipawin call for free, di ba? So, bibong-bibo lang talaga ako. So, hindi ko alam. But, uh, because of that, 
recognition will come in. Uh, wag kayong mag-alala if your uplines would always tell you do this, do this, do this, do that, do this, do that. Sumunod lang kayo. Bakit? During recognition, hindi naman po si upline ta tatayo eh. And that recognition is um that recognition is um proof uh and uh, a recognition also of your hard work, diba? of your dedication and commitment in this business. So, um be proud of your side hustle. Kami po mag-asawa, grabe. That, that is how we started at that time. Yung husband ko po, may bagyan. Uh, laman po yan, iPad, na, iPad 1 and Jelsensions. <laughs> Ayan, so, nagbabahay-bahay po kami sa bundok. Sabi ko nga, when I present, talo ka po po yung medrep. I have all these products with me. I don't really care what other people will say to me. Diba? So, wala akong pakialam sa inyo. Diba? If you, uh, wala lang. I, uh, learn to, ano yun? You filter the things that you want to hear. Diba? So, yun po. And uh, as long as you're willing to listen to me at that time, hindi ako may reklamo. Kaya din po ako gumaling sa pagpre-present. Kasi present lang po ako na-present. And um, this is my family. They know. They're very proud. Share ko lang po. When when my when my son was interviewed po sa LSJH, sabi niya, what is the work of your mom? My mom is a lawyer and you sana should be director. O, oh, diba? Walang, walang, very, very confident. You can see the child that is really very proud of what their parents are doing. Tapos sabi nung guidance counselor, ah, really? I'm also you sana independent associate. Oh, di ba? Tapos sabi ko, sayang anak. Akala ko na prospect natin. <laughs> Member na pala. Di ba? So, they should know. Talaga, they should be really proud of this. So, when we saw this, sabi ng mga anak ko, mommy, wow, mommy, congratulations, you're here, you're top 18. Pero sabi ng daughter ko, mommy, but this girl in the middle, has a bigger picture than you. Sabi niya, so may goal setting kami na anak ko. Kailangan daw, mas malaki yung picture next time. So, alam mo yung mechanics ng negosyo, alam nila. And of course, no, uh, I would like to leave everybody with this mantra. This had been my principal even when I was uh, in law school, no. Uh, always have that faith of a mustard seed. If you have that faith, even as small as a mustard seed, you can say to this mountain, move from here and there and it will move. Nothing will be impossible. So if you think you have given all your best, if you think lahat naman ng training na attendan mo, if you think you execute all the knowledge that you get in the trainings, then it's time to leave it up to the Lord. And we we all know that we have a very generous and gracious God. Nakikita niya po lahat ng pagod ninyo. And He will and He will reward you with so much better, um, uh, bigger things that you would ever expect. So as I end po, no? The ultimate goal is really to find your purpose and finding your purpose by achieving this precious stone. Diba? Because we all know that you, you, when, you, when you hit this diamond directorship, that will be the time that you will be able to serve the community, to give more time to your family, and of course, to give back to the Lord. So thank you very much. I hope diba? Uh, I hope po that uh, I was able to impart something valuable. And uh, thank you very much for your Kind attention, God bless us all in our youth and Grabe! Nakailag ba yung iba dyan? Duguan ba tayong lahat? Thank you so much, Attorney Noel, for giving us the real talk that we need para magising po tayong lahat. Anyway, grabe guys, paulanin naman natin yung ating chat box sa Facebook, sa Zoom, ba? Diba? Nang thank you so much, Attorney Noel, kasi grabe yung mga sharings niya. Grabe yung reminders niya. Kailangan natin talaga ma-remind guys na this is a multi-million dollar business. We really need to act and think like a real CEO. Kung ikaw ay real CEO talaga, starting today, i-type mo nga dyan sa chat box natin, CEO ako, para ma-embody natin yung identity na yan, guys. Baka nakakalimutan natin. And we cannot operate the, this multi-million dollar business with a minimum wage work ethic, right? Okay, so for our next speaker, I turn over our floor to our main host. Hi, Coach. Riza. Nol, ang lahat daw niyang nandito or if you are an entrepreneur, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Excuse me. Kung ikaw daw ay entrepreneur, meron kang strong mindset. So, bawal dito ang mahihina. Bawal ang <laughs> mahihinang nila lang. Okay, so syempre, hindi naman tayo papayag na mag-proceed 
without processing no or learning yung uh, natutuhan din ng ating mga co-participants. So, will it be okay to ask at least to one to two volunteers or volunteers sino pong gustong mag-share ng kanilang learning tonight? Ayan. Na 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 Ay! Another attorney in the house! Okay! <laughs> Hello. Hello po! Here po! Go attorney! Tweet, tweet. Uh, ano yung tanong po? Uh, main learning is talagang kailangan po na, na mag-develop tayo ng entrepreneur mindset. Mahirap pong tumawid from employment to entrepreneur pero kailangan po natin. Kasi hindi pwedeng entrepreneur ka, mahinang nila lang yun. Ay, mahinang nila lang yung employees. Dapat palakasin natin yung loob natin, patibayin natin yung loob natin. Kasi kung gusto mo makapag-contribute ng sobra-sobra sa yung community, sa mga mahal mo sa buhay, gawin mo to ng tama. Patibayin mo yung kalooban mo. Learn as much as you can. So lahat po yun, kailangan po natin gawin para po Uh, maibigay, maibalik po natin sa ating community, sa mga mahal po natin sa buhay, yung mga opportunity na, na tinatamas, tatamasain po natin dito sa Yuzan. Yan po. Thank you so much, attorney! Ayan. Hawahan ang kal